Hey guys, it's Marta Geek. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a little bit of gameplay of Kill the Justice League. Yeah, um, for some reason, I just decided to go ahead and install this game here on the Steam Deck. I did get it for uh, for free for uh, via the what was it via the Epic Launcher. And um, I remember when it first became free, I tried it. But it, it ruined my my, because you know that I have um, this is the Steam Deck right, and the Steam Deck you can't just install games from, from Epic Launcher without doing those little hacks that we have to do, and um, it ruined my little hack that I had on my um, on my Steam Deck, and I had to like reinstall Epic and all that. I don't know why that happened, but it happened. <laughs> So, you know, I, I did again the hacking, uh, installing Epic again on the Steam Deck. And, um, I don't know, I just finished Astrobot on the PlayStation 5. And I decided to go ahead and try something. I was, like, looking for something to do. I'm like, you know what, let's go ahead and try this. Because I haven't touched my Steam Deck. Um, we go, what are we going to do? Okay, we're being attacked here. So, like you see here, the f FPS on this game is everything here. Everything here, let's go show you guys. But everything here is on low. Uh, this is a game that is pretty demanding when it comes to graphics. Because there's a lot of shooting and all that. Uh, I put it here at 720p. When you first launch it, it's at 800p. So, I put a 720p. V-Sync is off. Um, it says 90... Oh, look at this. I can change it now to 60. Okay. <laughs> right before this video, I was trying to change it to 60. And it was not letting me to change it to 60. So now we change it to 60 there. Um, anti aliasing uh, is off. Uh, dynamic resolution scaling is on. Everything else is on low, 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 low. Uh, motion blur off. Bloom bl off. Everything. There you go. Yeah, let's go and save it. So now we should be locked at 60, but of course this game barely goes into 60. Ooh, nice. There you go. There you go. I don't know, I like that shot. I've been trying the other characters, but I really like that shot. So uh, if you're more into f shooter games, that shot is going to be more. I think it's going to be more appealing to everybody who likes shooters. Uh, but but like you see, the game is like in the 30s, low 30s. Where are you going? Yeah, I guess we just unlocked a new attack. Let's go try here again. Nice. Now the cutscenes in this game actually look really good. That's for sure. Okay, who are we gonna shoot? Bam. Okay. Right. 
Oh, is audio all the way up or not? Yeah, audio is all the way up. Harvesting some. Okay. Man. <laughs> okay. My both both of my weapons are freaking snipers. That was a training. We did play, I already did play the intro, which takes like almost an hour because you have to uh, um, try to, I think it's rescue Flash. And then you meet up with uh, Wonder Woman. Okay, this is refills. Okay, let's see. 800. 100, 100. Yeah, let's go ahead and equip. No, not no, not really. Already. The, the cactus actually look very good. At. You four have the honor of being shot at instead. I could while I get the job done. I would like to leave the mission, Colonel Flag. Uh I have great leadership skills as a demigod. <laughs> and as a bipedal shark, I draw much attention. <laughs> okay. Make some noise. So I can also switch to any of the other characters. Harley Quinn. I also like Harley Quinn. I'll go that way. Get a hangout. To the people overtaken by the invaders, this is Wonder Woman. I know you're still in there. I know you're still fighting. Keep Diana, fighting. stop this. I like that she uses Batman's Please grapple. Tell me where you are. And this right here, which is... Oh. But like you see the FP the frame rates they just drop too much. And switch over here. As your new leader, I promise only the most dangerous exciting and weird mission. I think we need a recount. I think you press and hold. I think you press and hold and wait. I don't know. That's one thing that I don't like about this game. That this game just has the, the weirdest controls that I've ever used on a freaking third-person shooter game. It just doesn't make sense. Some of the controls in this game. Got some kind of Argus ordinance here. Must be Flag's distraction. Okay. Receiving mm -hmm. heavy weapon troopers being deployed. Let him get a bead on you, and they'll chew you up. Don't let him. Okay. Inside this jammer is a terminal that's your new best friend, TFX. Keep it twitching with the energy released by killing tangos. Kill enough, the jammer sucks up the energy and projects a shield. Get back behind it when the skull ship tries to fry you. I need you unfried and running that jammer until I'm done. Operation is a go. Available forces, go investigate that signal disruption. Terminate whatever's causing it. 
I guess is we gotta do what? Oh crap. Okay, get eight charges. I guess we gotta get back there. Ah! Get in there! Okay, what the hell was that mission? I don't know. <laughs> there you go. So I guess we finished that mission, whatever it was, defending that thing. And we got some what? Some rewards, mission rewards. There you go, Moonshot on Cobble Sniper Rifle. You know what? I think I have to change my weapons because... Okay, this is the thing. capacity currently equipped. The one that I have equipped, I think, is actually better. What the hell is this unauthorized transmission all about? Riddler. Okay. Everyone keep quiet. I ain't chasing a bunch of riddles and bullshit. Me neither. <laughs> Go to the radio tower. 
I don't know, I think the characters actually look good in this game. And the action, I do like the, I do like the shooting. The story also, I think the story, a lot of people don't like the story. I think the story is actually interesting. Because, you know, having normal people, like normal freaking criminals like the, like, you know, like these people. Having to kill the Justice League, which are fucking gods. You know, I think that makes the game interesting and that makes the game even more challenging as well because that's like an uh, impossible task. So for me, I don't know, I like it. A lot of people don't like it. I One thing that I really don't like about this game is the, the controls, that's for sure. I don't like the controls of this game. Can we get up there like this? Okay, look at that, that was easy. Now, uh, uh, when right now, w right now we're in the open world, but when we play like in inside missions, like there are like inside buildings, the frame rate actually goes up like to between 50 and 60 FPS on the Steam Deck. Way better, way better than right here on you know on in the open world. Okay, it says scan for riddles. Says hold the skin for riddle solutions. Oh man, are we gonna have to do a riddle solution Come here? What's in the head of this invasion? A cat that thing, right? But I don't see, I, I don't see. So if I press right here, you can see that. I press over here. You here you can show enemies. There you go. You know, with games like Concord, that game didn't last a week, or maybe two weeks at max, and it shut down. I'm surprised this game hasn't shut down, because the game, the, the the people playing this game, that were started playing this game, totally did not like it. I, I, I haven't heard anybody who actually liked this game. Okay. Okay, don't blow it. So we got another mission there. Of course, when you go here to the map as well, you can select like, sometimes there's going to be like missions you can select depending on the difficulty level. Uh, you can change your looks at here as well. Let's see that. Or that. Yeah, right now we only have two outfits. You can change outfits for every character as well. Man, this game could have been so damn better. It's it kind of sad. Kind of sad that a studio like this wasted so much time making a game like this. You know, after all the great games that they did with the Arkham games. It's sad that this is what they made. You know? And if they made decided to make Kill the Justice League, which I have no problem with that. I have no problem with the you know, with the storyline of Kill the Justice League, but they could have done it a lot better. You know, instead, of, it could have been a first-person, uh, first-person shooter um, that's that doesn't require online. It could have been way much better. Okay, I think we're gonna be ending the video here soon because 
it is getting long. But, you know, in this video, I just wanted to show you guys how this game performs here on the Steam Deck. Not the best experience, you know, not the best experience. Like I said, cutscenes look great. Gameplay inside of buildings also plays great, like between 45 and 60 FPS. Pretty damn good. Uh, but when you're in the open world and there's a lot of action going on, you saw how it performs. It goes, it goes down to low 25, like 25 to 35 FPS. Uh, but you know, once the action is done, it goes back with to, to around 30, 35. Um, but the cutscenes, I think, uh, the, the cutscenes, I think, are pretty damn cool. The characters look cool. You know, I think the customization is going to be great as well. But yeah. You know, it sucks that the game is actually requires online because if the game, if the Steam Deck goes offline, the game will be unplayable. Uh, unless, I don't know, unless they're thinking of doing an update for that, which I think they won't. But yeah, let me go and stop this right here. And let me know in the comments what you think about Suicide Kill the Justice League. Um, have you played it? Do you like it? Did you like it or not? Are you one of the few that actually did like the game? Let me know in the comments. Till next time. Bye-bye.